We're here in Yorktown Heights to surprise the amazing Finnegan family. Bob serves his community as a firefighter and he and Liz have been married for 13 years. She's the funniest person you will ever meet. She cracks a joke, everybody lightens up. She's also one of the kindest people I've ever, I've ever known. It's just his looks. I find him <laughs> extremely hot and that's, yeah. that's pretty much it. Now, Bobby is truly one of the nicest people I've ever met. He is loyal to a fault. He's so loving to his family, he gives Everything we ever want, he gives. All right, hurry up, put your snack bags here. Let's go, let's go, we're late, we're late. The house is always crazy. We have two very typical boys. All they want to do is jump up on the couch and wrestle literally right. 24 hours a day. What homework do you have tonight? Uh, I have a math worksheet. Max is our oldest, he's 10. People say he's a lot like me, he likes exactly to talk. Right. <laughs> he exactly likes to right. talk, he's a big mouth, very energetic. What is this? What's this? Then we have Jack, our little redhead. He's just turned eight. Who's unfortunately just like that. He's more like Bobby, never, never a little talks, more quiet, a little reserved. <laughs> and then we have Mia, who's three. Our daughter Mia has cerebral palsy. She was officially diagnosed at one years old. On the second day of life, they said that her lung collapsed. She had high blood pressure, which led to bleeding on the brain. I can honestly say it was the hardest thing ever in our lives because we didn't know if she was gonna make it or not. We had our crying time, and then uh, we just looked at each other and said, uh, uh, you know, we can't cry anymore. It's, it's, it's all about me now. She's always been my hope, always been my faith, is actually just looking at her. There's this picture that we have of her, one of the first times she opened her eyes, Liz is holding her hand, and she's looking right at my wife, and I always, think to myself, she's in there saying, don't give up on me. Right. That's what my faith has always been in right. her. Sadly, because Mia has cerebral palsy, she is not able to walk, which makes it a daily challenge for her and her parents getting in and around her house. <laughs> Even though Mia has CP, it doesn't stop her from having fun with us. She's the happiest Go lucky girl, she loves to smile, she loves to socialize, be outside. As far as Mia knows, she doesn't know she's in any way held back or disabled at all because Liz involves her in everything. Liz doesn't like sitting yeah. in the house, she likes to get outside. Yeah, so. and he could sit in the house and watch football. <laughs> 80 degrees, mm -hmm. sunny day, he would sit here eating a bologna yes. sandwich and right. I want to be apple picking at an apple festival somewhere. Right. So, so it's a good I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> just to insult you. Something that she can do is she rides her car around. She loves it because it could play music. She feels like it's free. She's free. We are concerned as Mia gets older and heavier, getting her in and out of the house and accessibility. We just kind of still treat her like a baby. We take her out of the car, we carry her in, we put her on one of the couches here. Maximizing space has been a priority for Bob and Liz. They have an increased need for accessibility and a safe space for the kids to grow and play. Right now, it seems like the basement, which is in rough shape, has got the most potential. Right now, I'm like, uh, when I walk in it, I just feel like it's so dreary and no life. The walls are flimsy. There's all fuse boxes showing. I'm afraid someone's going to get electrocuted one of these days. And I fantasize about having this beautiful, cool space for the boys to go in as they get older, play video games, have friends over, sleepovers. And I think as Mia gets older, I think it would be great for Mia to have access to go down there and hang out with her brothers, watch movies. I focus so much on Mia, sometimes my heart breaks for my sons, and I want to give them the world. I think rescue really hits it on the nail for us, because <clears throat> this is extremely difficult, and at times you're really at the end of your rope. So to come in here and help us make Mia's life a little better, make the kids' life a little better, yes. is actually a rescue, and it, it would be a wonderful thing right. for them. Look at those little toes. I literally have three kids right around the same age, awesome. and I, I know how crazy things can get, and then you know, you add cerebral palsy in that, and, yeah. and it just makes things even more difficult. So uh, any burden I can take off your plate, I'm Thank here to do. So it's awesome. We love to help people who help others, and that's what you guys do. And, uh, She's happy too. You and we like ears. to help beautiful, awesome yes. little girls who inspire <laughs> yes. people. Yes, exactly. Yes. Now that we got surprise out of the way, it's time to get contractor Dan DeVito and designer Phyllis Harbinger in here to take this basement to another level. 
So fellas, Dan, this is the Finnegan basement right here. Right now, you know, Mia's still a little girl, really small, so it's easy for them to carry her. You know, that is gonna become more of a challenge, more difficult. There is so much stuff in that basement. They've got storage issues. They've got vent pipe issues. Everything needs to be taken out. We gotta rip out all the walls and start from scratch. Kinda gotta get reorganized as to what is important, what's necessary, and what's not. Over here, these pipes I see below the joists, we might be able to get a couple inches out of the ceiling. It's obvious the best place for them to enter with me is through the garage where they could pull the car right up. At the base of the stairs, as soon as you enter, there'll be a lift to bring her up to the first floor. This is gonna be one of those transformations that when the family comes back, they're gonna be like, are we in the same place? Is this the same basement? Did you add square footage? Because I know that that basement is not living up to its full potential. Dan, I know that the big thing was we didn't really know what was behind the walls. So you were saying we should just pretty, pretty much just rip everything yeah. out, see what we're dealing with, and then build from there. Without a doubt. Let's do it. Good. All right, let's, go. let's start this transformation. Gear up. Today is uh, all going to be about discovery. We're going to find out how we can maximize our space down there. We will also find out what challenges we have, like the plumbing and so on. That pipe, but you have all this yeah. empty cavity right here. Yeah, if we could slide it over, right? We're gonna, when the plumber gets here, we have it exposed. We're gonna see about maybe lifting it as well. I told you, Nick, demo is my favorite part. You look good doing it, George. So now that we've started ripping everything out of the basin, we got ourselves a nice pile of junk, and that's only gonna get bigger. Thankfully, we got ourselves a nice dumpster here from City Carding and Recycling. Rings and Lumber, they've offered to uh, donate all the framing material, all of the interior doors, interior trim. They're a real class act company. Look, George, there's an ash dump. The fireplace upstairs, it was all covered up. In the back of the fireplace, you have a chute, and that's where all the ash goes. And then that's usually clean out for all that ash in the basement. The clean out was buried in the wall. I doubt the Finnegans knew that it existed. They're supposed to clean this out. Yeah, and a fireman's house. And a fireman's house. The problem with that is you get hot coals down in that chute, down in that clean out. The door is not secure. Those hot coals fall out onto the floor, whole house burns up. When our tile guy is in here, he's yeah. a mason as well, well, we'll just seal it up. And that way there's never a problem. Yeah. Thankfully, Dan brought in his buddy Kent from Thusen Mechanical, who's gonna take care of all of our plumbing issues and all of our heating issues. Now that we ripped out the soffit, is there anything that we can do, like, can we move it? We're gonna to try to maximize the space, take any pipes that are up in the ceiling and get them up into the ceiling and move the waistline as close to the I-beam as we can. From my experience with uh, cast iron pipes, I've I took out a, ch a chunk about this big, so this times one, two, three, four, I mean, that's gonna be... We'll take it out in sections, remove it, and then and, and repipe the whole thing. I don't know how we're gonna move this giant cast iron waste pipe. If he thinks we can do it, then uh, I trust him. You got it? Oh, yeah, it's heavy. You all right? You all right? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information about 3M products or to find a retailer near you, go to 3MDIY.com. You want to snap some cast iron? There you go. Oh, go back there here. There you go. It broke. Yes. There's a four inch waistline for the entire house. It runs pretty far off the I beam that supports the house. So we're going to try to shift that waistline over to the I beam and, and maximize the space as much as possible. You all right? You all right? I got it. I got it. I got it. There's veins popping out. You sure you're all right? Want me to grab one end? Right into the dumpster. Oh. Where's lunch? Oh, yeah. He's having a ball. Wow. So, Dan, up here, 
I know we wanted to do something nice for Mia's room. We're going to do some special things here. What we decided, as you can see behind you, we've drawn out, we're going to put a new door in. Oh, so we're going to move the door from there to here. Yes, more accessible 36 inch wide door. That's going to make a huge difference. She can come up here and she can literally just go right into her room instead of having to make this corner. Exactly. I saw Mia's room and it's just so adorable, but it really needs to be brought up. So we're going to design a fabulous princess room for her and a room that she can grow up with, something that she can take through her teens. Yep, yep. How was that for a plan? We got ourselves a nice 36 inch opening. While construction's moving along on the house, Bob sent me a private video that he didn't share with the kids were with Liz asking if there was any way that I could help him recognize his wife. Hi George, uh, I'm sending you this video and I'm not letting my wife know. My wife is really the one that could use a boost. Both her parents are also in wheelchairs in one form or another. Her father has had MS and her mother had a massive stroke uh, one year after Mia was born. We have a, a small ensuite bath, definitely needs to be redone, hasn't been touched in, in years. To just give her you know, a few minutes of a nice hot shower and a, and a modern shower, I'd love to surprise her with that. I don't think there's any way that anyone could say yeah. no to Bob's video. I think we gotta do a new bathroom. I so believe that Liz needs to have this bathroom. She needs a sanctuary. We're going to really shift it into this century and make it beautiful. Devro Tile and Bath didn't just take care of the playroom. They also are taking care of our surprise last minute master bathroom. I want to make sure that we don't get any of this paint on our baseboard. Best product for that. 3M Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Just run it right along the baseboard. This is orange core for delicate surfaces. Super sharp paint lines. While Dan and the guys take care of things here at the house, I'm gonna go meet up with the Finnegans and I got a little surprise. So today we have come to Play Place, meet up with the Finnegans, really for the Finnegan kids and myself to work off some of that boundless energy. Me and Jack versus you? Yeah, sure, sure, <laughs> sounds good. Oh boy. Do you have insurance? We're very confident that we will win against George in dodgeball. Oh! <laughs> 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 All right, guys, I'm waving the white flag. You guys got this. You win. I do have a surprise, though, for you, Mia. Come on over here, Mia. I got one surprise for you. I'm going to go get it. Oh, this is me. <gasps> so, Mia, we thought that you could oh, use oh, a uh, George the Rescue Chevy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, love. That's unbelievable. Oh, my God. I mean, the looks you're going to get when you're on the road on this thing, watch out. Oh, get out of my way. I'm coming through. <laughs> Woo, bye, Mia. Oh, off. Off. This space is ready to load. Time. This is fantastic. This, this is purely kid zone in here. Kid cave. I love, by the way, this wallpaper this is right here. It's great. The wallpaper throughout the house was generously donated by Flavor Paper. It's a paper that is timeless. It could be here now, and it could be here 10 years from now. I love everything about that basement, but I gotta say, I'm drawn to the bean bags. I love a good bean bag. I'm just gonna dive in. Oh my God, George, we lost George. <laughs> well, I really wanted to get in there. I really wanted to make sure that all the foam was broken up. <laughs> well, I fluffed it. I fluffed it hard. Be one with the bag. Mia's room, it's going to be so awesome. We made it a princess space for her, but I wanted it to be a room where she could really grow up. It's just going to be a really fun, happy place for her. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs>
So you guys just design around yeah, me? Yeah, you can just take a nap, George. It's fine. This is a good pose. Space came out absolutely magnificent. From what it was to what it is now, it's unbelievable. <gasps> oh my God, this is so awesome, Marcy. So I'm also an adjunct professor at FIT. I wanted to involve my students in this wonderful project that we're doing for the Finnegan family. We discovered some really cool original artwork that Jack, Mia's brother, had created, and we're going to have a custom artwork piece in Mia's room, and we're super excited about it. That's going right there? Yep, right there. This is unbelievable. <laughs> This artwork came out perfect, and command brand picture hanging strips are the perfect thing to hang it with. And just like that, our artwork is on the wall. What was really special was that we were able to grant Bob's wish of giving Liz a new bathroom. With the help of Claps, who gave us all of our plumbing supplies, all of our lighting, it makes the bathroom feel 10 times bigger than what it was. So uh, what's the scoop with this acorn stair lift? Well, we're putting this in for little Miss Mia. You're doing this stair lift as well as a stair lift down into the basement. That's right. We installed one down there for her as well so she can get in the house with ease. The new start carpet runner and the two acorn chair lifts are really gonna help Mia and the rest of the family transition from the basement to the rest of the house. I just believe you give and, and you get it in life. And to do this was just, it was special to everybody. It was, it was a lot of work, but it made our year. How's everybody? How was the great, stay at great. Cambria Hotel in Sweets, oh White Plains? They were great. So they were awesome. Us. So what do you say? You guys want to go in? Absolutely. I cannot so. wait right. to see it. Oh my gosh. Let's do it. All right, darling, you ready? Oh <laughs> Fantastic. Accommodations furnished by the Cambria Hotel and Suites, White Plains downtown. Westchester's newest and best hotel. At Cambria Hotels and Suites, you're always a VIP. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> oh my God. Fantastic. You just know it's gonna be good, but you have no idea exactly how it's gonna be designed. Every single corner, every space in that room was changed. They didn't miss a spot. Oh my God. I, I saw. It's beautiful. This is your room now? Is your, oh, you're moving down here? <laughs> she said, this is my room. When we left, it was basically just a box with a couch in it. You can't say that now. You look in that basement, it's, it's just, it's phenomenal. The new basement is amazing. It's more comfortable, it's more safe. It was probably the most exciting day of my life. Part of this was making this a safe place for you guys to play and for you guys to have fun. We also wanted to make the house functional for this little lady right here. So. Along with uh, doing this, we did a few other things too. Let's take a look here. We widened oh the stair gosh, and we put in a chairlift for you. Unbelievable, darling. Oh, 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 she's, she's jumping out of my arms. Do you, you want to ride it? You want to try it? Bye, Mia. Bye, Mia. Bye, my love. When I saw the stair lift uh, leading from the basement upstairs, it just made us feel fantastic because to give her any little bit of independence, it's gonna make her happy, it's gonna make our lives a little easier, it's gonna make us happy. Oh my God. Maybe just one more thing I gotta show you, Mia. All right? Oh my God, oh my God, Mia. Look at this. Oh my God, oh Mia, my this God. is for you. This is so funny. You want to sleep in it? This is, oh my it's God, so Bobby. I can't believe how beautiful this is. She has her own bed. This is so beautiful. I cannot believe how gorgeous this is. When I went up the stairs, the first thing I noticed was that the door was moved. And I don't know why that hit me. Uh, that hit me like a ton of bricks. And then when we opened her room, you created a space that I never could have created. Do you love me? Do you love your room? I love my room. It's so great to see her excited and happy about something. But when she gets excited, she kicks those limbs, the, right. the legs and the She's arms. She's jumping out of your arms. I never think I'm going to be shocked. And it's just unbelievable, guys. Thank you so much.
Well, I don't know if you know this, Liz, yes. but we also got a message from Bob. Oh, boy. Um, so uh, why don't you go take a look at your master bath? All right, now I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, my God. Bobby, please. Bob is a man of very few words, but he is the most wonderful man ever in the world. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Perfect. This cannot be happening. I really, I think I'm hallucinating. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I could not believe it. The shower looks like something out of like a spa that I would go to for the day. Oh my God, Bobby, thank you for thinking of me. I love you so much. Oh my God. Bobby, you have to see it. Oh my God. <laughs> see it, it's amazing. <laughs> Guys, you can shower in here too? Ha <laughs> ha No, they can't. No, they can't. <laughs> Welcome home, Finnegan family. All these faces out there, these are the people that made your rescue possible. It all started with Phyllis and Dan at the top. Thank you guys for making this possible. As anyone that knows me knows I love to talk, but I just have no words, George. We love you guys so much. The crew, I am so grateful to you guys for giving us something wonderful and happy. I just can't thank you guys enough from the bottom of my heart. Aww. So, thank you so much. We've had a lot of rough times over the last few years, but yes. not today. Today yes. was just a good day. Yeah. It's all just about being happy and the kids being happy and my wife being yes. happy. It's just a good day.